Hey everyone, it's Gil. Welcome to another episode of DG Downtime. We started our series on cables, looking at doing them static. First and foremost, you want to make sure to find a sturdy pole or tree to attach the cable to. You also want to make sure the ground you're working on has enough traction so you don't slip. When it comes to positioning of the cable, either on the support or the body, there are infinite ways to set up to activate certain muscle groups or emphasize certain movements. But for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to look at the general movement pattern and point out what to look for. As far as where to set your feet, as a general rule of thumb, start by standing with the cable tight and feet side by side and pointing straight forward. Move your right foot so it forms a T with your left, then straighten out your right foot again so it points forward. Looking at the movement pattern, the main things to focus on are the lines and angles at which you are executing the drill. You want to make sure you have a strong line of direction from your foot through your knee into your hip, which propels the upward movement. A couple things to note, notice how the shoulders and hips remain square throughout the push and there is no dipping of either. Again, the left shoulder and hip should stay up. Looking at the side view, we can really emphasize the angle. You want to make sure you're getting that knee over your toe, your thigh is coming close to, if not past parallel to the floor, and your upper body remains in a relaxed, low position. Something to think about is trying to get your left knee to your right ankle. You shouldn't be dipping your hip to accomplish this, rather squatting lower by decreasing the knee and ankle angle. From the back, again, we want to make sure the hips remain level through the squat and no dipping occurs in the hips or shoulders. We also want to make sure we're not holding on to the cable to keep ourselves up, rather we are engaging our core to stay strong position and square. Moving on to the left foot and focusing on the corners, most of the same things apply. Setting up your feet is the same as before, but instead of ending after you've straightened out your right, move your left foot back beside the right foot. Going through the left foot squat, again, most of the same things apply. We want to emphasize the strong line of push through the foot, knee, and hips, and the shoulders and hips remain level at all times. It is important to notice that during the squat, the left knee doesn't go in or out, rather it stays locked into position throughout the push. From the side, again, we want those strong knee and ankle angles with a relaxed and low upper body. Also notice that the right foot is going straight to the side and coming right back underneath me. And finally, looking from the back, again, we want to maintain strong through the hips and we want to make sure we keep the core engaged in order to keep level throughout the push. As mentioned before, there are a variety of variants in doing static cables. Make sure to do both legs, both ways, and you try doing the drill while holding the cable, not holding cable, with the arms on your back, or swinging in one, or both, in order to develop a balance in all aspects of skating. I hope you enjoyed and learned something this week. Check back next week for part two. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a like below.